guys, it's your Etiana, it is stands for English teacher and as you can see it is home and she's not moving anywhere anytime soon. Um, um. Now, in the light of the current situation concerning coronavirus across the world, including the city of Lublin, I've made the difficult decision to leave my comfort zone and to record this video. And I really cannot believe this is my first. I know I'm a little late to the party, but hey, at least I showed up. This is not a decision I have taken lightly, so please don't judge. It's work in progress and even if it's more work than progress at the moment, I promise to try to try and then to try all over again if need be to improve. But for now, good enough is good enough. And I'm telling you all that because recently a lot of teachers have had to switch classes to online and it's not an easy undertaking, especially if you have to do it within a couple of days. It takes time to learn new platforms there are some technical and logistical issues to sort out, such as, for instance, connectivity. Plus, there are the more pedagogical questions about how best to teach online, because things that work well in the classroom uh, do not necessarily work well online. That said, I greatly appreciate you being here. And I just wanted to let you know that in the time of COVID-19, I have your back and my back is the topic of today's video. But before I explain what I mean by that, let me ask you one question. And the question is, do you guys as doctors, doctors-to-be or prospective patients, do you think it is a good idea for people to arrange their own CT scans to try to pick up cancers and protrusions of intervertebral discs before symptoms such as lower back pain develop? Let me know in the comment section below and try not to give a one-word answer. Try to say why yes or why not. And I'm asking you this because in Poland arranging a walk-in CT scan without a referral is not an option. And it doesn't really matter whether your scan is covered by your insurance company or whether you're paying for it, you still have to be referred by your doctor. Now, MRI is a different matter. People are allowed to pay private companies to scan them even without a referral from their doctor. And as it happens, I've recently had an MRI scan of my lower back done and I arranged for it without a referral because I didn't want to wait. But I did have some symptoms, severe lower back pain being one of those symptoms. And this is the best 450 slotes I have spent ever. And I had this thought. Why not use this authentic medical documentation um, tr and translate bits and pieces of my examination result with you guys? But before we get to do that, I'm going to ask you to take a quick look at some useful vocabulary. And what I want you to do is to pause the video and to match Polish terms with their English equivalents, then restart the video and check your answers. Now that we're done prepping, we can take a look at four short excerpts from my exam result. I'm going to ask you to, again, pause the video at the next slide, translate the excerpts, restart the video, and then compare your version of the translation with mine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a useful exercise. Hit me up if you'd like to get the entire document with my translation. Comments, 
thoughts, suggestions of things that you would like to see? What are you looking for from me? Please let me know. I will respond and include your video suggestions in my lineup. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you guys soon.